Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside this video we're looking at an exciting new update to Lightroom Classic that might make it way faster for your computer. Let's check it out. So I was just browsing Reddit this Saturday and came across this thread saying that the newest version of Lightroom Classic, which was updated yesterday, August 30th of 2019, is apparently way, way faster than previous versions. And so I thought I would check it out for you, compare it to the current version of Lightroom that I have, which is the last latest version, and the new update which was released yesterday. So we'll see how it performs, what the differences are, and whether or not it might make a huge difference for you. And throughout this thread, people are saying that it is way faster than what they had previously experienced using Lightroom. Some people are even saying that it's faster than Capture One, which is kind of Lightroom's competitor that for a long time has been known to be way more efficient, way speedier and quicker to use than Lightroom. So let's check it out together. So here's the game plan. I have here 70-ish, 75 photos that I'm going to import into the old version of Lightroom before I update. We're going to see how long it takes to import, how to edit, just kind of get a general feel for things, and then we're going to compare it once we update. So it is 158 right now. I'm going to select Create Smart Previews. I'm going to apply a basic classic preset from our preset pack and hit Import. We're just going to time it. So there we go. We're building our Smart Previews. And in case any of you are wondering, I am using a 2015 MacBook Pro, 16 gigs of RAM, a graphics card, which I've actually disabled because I found that it's making Lightroom slower than having it enabled, and a 2.87 gigahertz Intel i7 processor. Okay, still 158. Looks like we're going to be in under the minute mark, and we're not going to be super precise here. I want to see just overall, is the experience zippier as I'm editing or isn't it? If it's a subtle difference, 5, 10, 15%, well, that's not news to me. So we're at 159, somewhere around a minute to import 70, how many? 76 photos and create smart previews for all of those. Okay, let's jump over into the develop module for you. And this is all going to be live. I'm just going to go through and kind of give all of these photos a really quick edit. So obviously we're not going to pursue perfection, but we'll just try different things, adding some adjustment layers, brighten things up. Great, that was way too much. So we'll just copy things over, see how long it takes to paste. You can see there's a pretty good delay between when I actually press the arrow key and when the changes show up on the photo. When I'm pasting things and waiting for my resolution to show up, even pressing the O key to show my mask overlay and moving it around, there's definitely a significant delay going on. Now the real question is, are things going to be fixed once we jump into the new version of Lightroom? So we'll keep going here so we get a better sense and we're reasonably thorough. Side note, if you have not used Lightroom's profiles, and by that I mean the camera profile section of the develop module, you are seriously missing out. Um, just have been recently playing around with some of these profiles and creating them for a new preset pack. It's amazing what they can do. Here's without, obviously. Here is with. And just with one slider, you can get your photos looking amazing. So look out for a future video on that. As I go through here and edit a little bit more, we'll add maybe a radial filter here. There's definitely a delay hey, between things showing up and things not showing up. Good English, Ryan. Things showing up and not showing up. That makes a lot of sense to the world. Okay. It's the multitasking. Multitasking does it to me. Trying to edit while I talk, while I'm thinking about whether or not Lightroom is faster. All of the suspense is just getting to me. I'll shut up now. Okay, so I'm not going to go through and edit this whole session because that would just be a waste of your time and mine. Well, not mine because I have to edit it anyways, but it would be a waste of your time and I don't want that for you. So we'll just pretend that I've gone through, how many photos was that? I did 10 photos in, whatever, two minutes or so. So now we're just going to exit, update Lightroom Classic, and continue on. So we'll open up Creative Cloud, go to Apps. Look for the Lightroom update, classic, hit that update, and I'll fast forward this and see you on the other side. Okay, so our download is done. We have the new version of Lightroom Classic installed. I'm going to go to the library and do the exact same thing. We'll grab our raw files, drag them in here, 
Perfect. Apply the same preset. We're going to build smart previews. It is 208. Let's hit import. So now we can watch and compare side by side, old and new. Overall, there's not a big difference. I'm just going to skip ahead here so you can watch the end. What's interesting is the old version finishes a couple seconds sooner, but nothing I would say is significant. It's pretty negligible overall. So no difference in the update there. Let's head over into the develop module. And again, we will edit things live. Okay, so making some adjustments to the exposure, that takes a long time. Switching between photos, the resolution is not showing up even though I've generated smart previews. Come on, you. Okay. Or is it just out of focus? I don't know. Maybe I'm losing it. Okay, we'll grab an adjustment brush. Do the same kind of thing here. One of my favorite brushes, you just take the contrast down and your whites up a little bit. And then you can paint it on skin. Basically anything you want to brighten in your image and it's just this super subtle, like obviously that's a little bit too far. Too much. Too much, Ryan. But super subtle way of just adding brightness to your image without it looking edited. And then you can darken the rest of the image and make it pop a little bit more. Anyway, so we'll copy that. We'll paste that over. So I've done my best to sync things up between the two editing rounds. And as you can see, there's not a huge difference in how things are responding inside of Lightroom. I would say perhaps the new version has slightly more zip. We're talking like a microsecond of faster performance. Uh, overall, will that make a difference? Yeah, sure, but it's not night and day, which was what I was hoping for. So the last thing that we're actually going to jump over and into once we kind of watch this side by side for a couple more seconds is comparing whether or not it's faster once I turn my computer graphics card on and have that acceleration enabled. So we'll fast forward and we'll go to that. So one last thing that I am going to try just to compare things is I'm going to go into preferences and turn on my graphics processor because remember I said earlier I had it set to off because I found in the last version of Lightroom it was just slowing things down. So I'm going to set it to custom and then use for display. Sure, use for image processing. Perfect. And let's close this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a brand new catalog and we're going to do this whole thing once more and just compare the speeds. I'll fast forward this time for you so you can kind of see the results and just skip ahead to that. So same process, library, we're going to grab our images, import those, we're going to build smart previews, apply that same preset, hit import, and sit and watch. So again, I'm going to put these all side by side and let you watch them fast forwarded so you don't have to wait in real time for the results. What's interesting is that they are all pretty much exactly the same, give or take, half a second here, half a second there. Even the final export, the finish time, the old version was the fastest, followed shortly by the updated version and then finally by the updated graphics version all within half a second of one another though. Heading into the develop module, you do notice a little bit of a difference though with the new version with the graphics processor enabled. It's nice that Adobe has improved the performance there. It's slightly zippier, not mind boggling, but it is going to be a faster experience for you. So overall, there are some slight performance increases, but it's nothing that changed my world. That said, on your computer, the results might be different. So if you have access to the update for free anyways, I'd say definitely check it out. You might be pleasantly surprised. I hope that this video was helpful for you in deciding whether or not you should update to the latest version of Lightroom. If it was, please do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content, creative tutorials. And if you want to check out the preset that I'm using in this session for free, I will leave a download link in the description below. All right, till next time, peace.